Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is on pulmonary lecture number two on ABG interpretation, uncompensated uh, ABGs. Found on NursingCamp.com in this sticky note on Pinterest, intro, uh, Nursing Camp Facebook, please follow me there. All right, so let's get into it. Um, in my previous lecture, I talked about the layout, and this layout is called the Abbott-Babb method. And the Abbott-Babb method is the easiest way to interpret in, in ABG. So we lay it out like this, and the A stands for acidosis or acidotic, and the B stands for basic or alkalotic. And in our first interpretation, we would circle the um, ABGs that they could, they were related to and when they were when and then you connect the two that are the same we said that there's two sections we have abgs are regulated by the lungs or the respirations so this is the respiratory section and also by the kidneys or the metabolic section and these will either compensate. So if there's a problem in any of these areas, you're going to have acid-based problems. That's why patients who are diabetic, patients who are um, have a lot of p three Ps, peeing, puking, or pooping, are going to be more metabolic. Okay. Now, ABG interpretation. On the NCLEX, you're going to get an ABG. And that's the kind of question that you want because it's just, it's just, interpretation once you understand the format you just interpret the data it's just like having a math question you want a math question on it because it's once you know the math then you want that question if you had a question that said hey what's one plus one you know you'd be like oh geez give me that question any day that's two and i passed my NCLEX one step closer to passing the NCLEX and that's what an ABG is same sort of thing so that's why it's very important to know interpretation. But we're going to talk about uncompensated. All right, so we said that in this layout, you have your pH up here, and then we say your pCO2. We drop these down here, and those are your lungs. Okay, and then you have your kidneys down here. And lungs are respiratory. And then kidneys are metabolic. Okay. Now, this is the principle. So, uncompensated. What does that mean? Well, uncompensated means it's not working. And that's a problem. That patient is very acute. And the reason they're acute is because of the, the acid base principle has to, generally wants to be on this, you know, kind of a teeter totter whatever the heck that is. And it's one that goes up and down. So it's basically going to go back and forth, back and forth. So the body is always compensating. Okay. When a body is not compensating, for example, it should always be wanting to go this way or this way. And to maintain this pH. Well, when you have something that is not compensated, it means that it's not doing this mechanism so how do we know that all right so that's what we're going to look at here all right so we said that interpretation is basically um you know circle in the letter so let's go through some abgs and that's the best way to look at it all right so first one is a ph of 7.50 okay so that's good because the ph is in this area it's outside this box and so we're good to go so now we go to the next step, PaCO2, don't worry about right now. Uh, PaCO2 is 40. Huh. It's in there. Okay. So then we move to the next thing. Well, it is closer. It's right in the middle, though, right? So um, we're going to hold that there. And then we're going to say HCO3 is 32. Okay, so this. So the rule is you connect the letters, right? So the B to the B. Okay, so this is an alkalotic condition. And then we say that this is metabolic area. See, it's connected with the B. So that's metabolic alkalosis. All right, so now what about this? Anytime you are 
Xing in this section, it is uncompensated. Okay? And that's it. So if you X out in here and you connect, it is uncompensated metabolic alkalosis. Let's move to the next one. Next one is pH is 7.60. Okay, so that's way over here again. Uh, PO2, don't worry about. Uh, PaCO2 is 30. Okay, it's way over here. So it's less than. And the bicarb is 24. Oh, it's in the middle. Okay, we connect the letters. So we have an alkalotic condition, alkalosis. This is respiratory area. So it's respiratory alkalosis. But the bicarb is in the middle. So therefore it is uncompensated. Uncompensated. Um, that's it. Let's move to the next one. So the rule of thumb is, is that generally if you're circling two of them and you have uh, one in the middle, it is uncompensated uh, ABGs. The next one is 7.28. Okay, so the pH is 7.28. So that's over here. Okay, so then PA2, don't worry about PaCO2 is 39. Okay, well, it's in here. we we'll move on to the next one, 18. Okay, well, it's less than, so oh, these two match again. So we have an acidic condition, acidosis, whatever it is. And because it's in the metabolic area, this is metabolic acidosis. What kind? Because it's in here, on compensated. That's the most advanced you're going to have to look at as far as the ABGs are concerned with uncompensated um, uh, blood gases. Generally, you might just have just the basic interpretation, but sometimes they'll ask you whether it's uncompensated or partially compensated or compensated. Now, in my next lecture, I'm going to talk about partially compensated ABGs. And so when you're looking at ABGs, it's just a formula, you know. So the, so the recap is you connect the letters, and if you have there uh, an X in the middle, um, it's uncompensated metabolic acidosis or alkalosis or vice versa. Now, my name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp, and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX that can be found on nursingcamp.com, uh, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. Please say hello, follow me. Um, like if you like, and, and don't if you don't. All right, and we'll see you next time.